Hey guys, it's Nick aka the one and only Nick's Games, and we're back people. After a long, long, long time, we are now back with Mod-tastic. Wow, it's been a while since we've been in this world. Over a month, August 23rd was the last time we were in this, and the day I'm recording this is October 12th. That's pretty insane. It's actually very insane, if you ask me. Today, you get to see me destroy a bunch of work. So we get to destroy all of this. And in lieu of all of it, build an underwater farm. Something a little interesting and a little different. But the reason I want to build an underwater farm is because why not? Why not build an underwater farm? I mean, why would you build like why build an overworld farm when you can do it underwater? That's my question. So what we need to figure out, and we're gonna do this right now, is we are going to go downstairs and figure out the farthest we can go over and still do this thing underwater, right? So, right here is where we're at. That would explain some things. Right here is where we're at. We can go up here, okay, and then over. Alright, come on now. Don't do this to me. Don't do this. Come on. Alright, so we can go right here. I don't want to use that. Don't use the excavator, even though it's going to take out a lot of land. Don't use it. Alright, there's that. And we can actually have room right here okay so it's there is water there right now so this is as far over as we can go let's get a marker we're gonna mark that and then we'll be good to go i'm gonna do a time lapse for the rest of it but we, we need to mark this so let's get some dirt luckily we've got plenty of it One hundred and ninety thousand dirt so i think we're good for dirt off for days but let's go ahead and get this started so right here this is where we can actually start building so this needs to be our wall. So right there. Build out. Build out. Luckily we don't have to worry about getting water. Because. Or getting air. Because we have a special suit. Adaptation that allows us to not have to. Worry about such petty things as air. <laughs> Who worries about air these days. And we're going to make this noticeable. As to where our wall will be. So right there is where that will be. Cool. Now we're actually not going to build there. We're actually going to build a layer under this. With glass. So, let me show you how that's going to work. You think 190,000 darts enough? I don't. By the way, if you guys want to see the live broadcast of this, because it is live, it's down below. It's linked in the description. If you're watching it live, then hopefully later today, if not tomorrow, this will be going on uh, YouTube as an edited video with time lapses and whatnot. So you can skip all the boring stuff, like what we're about to do. But not yet. Not yet. So the goal here is that's going to be our wall, but right here we're going to have glass. Because... It's an underwater uh, farm, and we can go out as far as we want here, but we also need to keep in mind that we will have to fill in everything under this. My goal is to go out until we, I guess, hit right here, and we'll we'll just bring it right on into that, and then come over. This is fine. It's actually kind of cool. I like the fact we might be able to change up our mob spawner to work better now that uh, we're doing this come over and then right here as well just do that cool so now that we've done that we can go ahead and fill all that in and whatnot but we're gonna do that in a time lapse so I will see you guys after probably a very very long time lapse whenever we're ready to start actually planting things and doing automation so there's that
everyone! If you're watching this pre-recorded, I'm back. I need to like this place, but we are done. We've got we've got this a massive, I mean it's huge place to uh, kind of push forward and press forward with our farm, which is this. We're gonna move this. However, we don't have time to do that today because that time lapse was an hour and a half. Extremely and epically long. Like, it's insane as to how long that took. But, that's okay. We will do it next week because this series is now back as a weekly series. But I don't want to leave you hanging if you're watching the video with a short intro and all of that stuff. So I'm going to give you a little tour of this. Look at this. I mean, it's pretty awesome. It's massive. It took us a very long time to clear it out because, well, we had to fill all of this with dirt and then dig all the dirt out. <laughs> it's an endless cycle. It really is. In addition to that, though, we've got some other things going on. One, we've got our quarries working. Now, our quarries, sadly, are yet to get to cobblestone. I think we're going to go check out the quarry. Let's see here. Okay, we've got some cobblestone there, but it's not coming in passively, which is what we want. Let's go check out our quarries. Because, you know what? If they're not producing cobblestone, there's no reason for them to even be, like, in existence. I'm just being honest with you. So as you can see here, we've got we've got some producing cobblestone right here. This guy's starting to get to it. It just takes forever, man. It just takes forever. We've been playing for like two hours, and they've not even gotten down to that. Partially, probably because we don't have enough power to really sustain all of these. But yeah, this guy's look at that. You are our trooper. Look at this dude. One, he's going super fast. Two, cobblestone right there. That's what I'm talking about, people. That's what I'm talking about. See, look how, look how fast it is in cobblestone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, I still fast can't even keep count. That's awesome. That's what I like to see. Soon enough, all of these, by the way, all ten of these squares will be producing cobblestone. But I just wanted to see where they were at. So that's pretty cool. We're going to show one more thing. And then we're going to go ahead and call it a video, I guess. What is that one more thing, you ask? Well, it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. And it's this. Our endothermic lava pumps, one of them, you, is out. I don't know which one that is, but one of them is not working. So let's fix it. Why not, right? Why not go ahead and fix it? I think all we need is a bucket, and we should be good. So let's grab a bucket. Speaking of things that are automated, how many diamonds do we have now? Quite a few, 4,800. That's awesome. How much iron? Do we have 45,000? What about gold? 12,000? It's alright, it's alright. What about emeralds? 2,000 emeralds. Let's look at our nuggets here. We've got quite a few nuggets. We do have an automated ore berry farm that is producing nuggets. Uh, these little tiny things here. Passively. So we don't have to worry about it. It just produces them. And then we just kind of walk away and let that happen. That's, that's how that works. So we're just going to get a bunch of these. And we're going to actually stick that aluminum out in the grill. And by grill, I mean the Tinker's Construct thing to to work and turn into blocks. Because that's the only way you can do that. Aluminum is weird. Aluminum only turns into blocks through Tinker's Construct. There's no other way to turn these into blocks. Like at all. There's no other way. There's no other way. Boom. And this should be automated, but who knows if it will be. Alright, off to the nether we go. We're going to cheat just a little bit. We're going to teleport to all of these because we have so many of these endothermic lava pumps. If we don't teleport, it's going to take us forever. So we're going to start here and we're just going to go through all of these, checking them, seeing if they uh, are empty. And if they are, one of them should be, we will then uh, fix that. But who knows which one that's going to be. So we're just going to have to keep teleporting until we find it. Which could take us up to like 20 tries. Because there's 20 different endothermic... Well, you see the problem now? Yeah, you probably see the problem now. I've just got to remember which one I'm on. So I was on 7, now we're on 8. Okay. Uh, we might be getting close here. Now we're on 9. No. Maybe it's 10. No. Maybe it's 11. It's going to be 11. 
No. What about 12? What about... I have a feeling it's 12. No. 13. It's gotta be 13, right? If it's not 12, it's 13. No. Okay, maybe 14? Come on, 14. Do this for me. Be our winner. No. Okay, 15. 15, I have faith in you. 15, you can do this. No. 16. Today is your day, 16. Today is your day. Okay. So it's one we've already replaced. One. No. I knew it wasn't one. Two. It could actually be two. It's not. It has to be the last one on here, which is number five. And it's not even that one. I don't understand. I don't know if you understand the predicament we're in now. Because that means there's an endothermic lava pump out there, and it does not, I repeat, it does not have working things. It is not getting us lava anymore. But we don't have it put on our map. There is a 0% chance that we will ever find this thing. I mean, who knows where in the nether this thing is. If it is not marked, we're screwed. I mean, that's what it really comes down to. The headset came off in, 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 in dismay and frustration. But not really frustration, just wondering why. Why aren't you marked? Why? Are you the one lava pump that we don't have any information on? It's off the grid. It is off the grid. This lava pump is off the grid and I don't like it. I don't like that this lava pump is off the grid. We, we have got to do better. We've got to do better. Alright. I have no clue. I have no clue. And with that, I think we'll go ahead and end this video. If you're watching live, I've got some more stuff to say to you. But if you're watching not live, you can see what I said to these guys in the description down below. Because there's a link to the live broadcast. But, anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. My question is, if you haven't, why haven't you? There's literally no reason not to. Do it. You won't regret that. I mean, come on. It's, it's like awesome content. Why not? Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Nick's Games. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm out, guys. Peace. Hello, guys. Sorry for the issue at the end of that with the audio. I tried my best to fix it. I worked on it for a good 15 minutes to try to get it as best I could, but short of going frame by frame, I don't think I could have gotten it any better. That was really weird. I'm gonna look into XSplit and figure out why it's doing that. The audio was delayed over time, and by the end of the audio, it was at a normal delay, which is five milliseconds that I normally have to delay on my videos, which is fine, but the beginning of it was over two seconds delayed, it was weird. Nevertheless, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Video down that way is how to make a mod pack. Do you want to get your very own mod pack? Well, that series will show you how. And down that way is revisiting Call of Duty 4. It's an awesome video. Going back, playing Call of Duty 4, having some fun. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Anyway, guys, I'm Nick's Games. Subscribe to the channel, all that stuff. And I'm out, guys. Peace.